Hi, Angel Anderson here. Now, imagine yourself driving from Florida all the way across the United States to Washington. Now, you imagine yourself driving, but without a map or a GPS. How hard would it be? Eventually, you might get there, but with a map, maybe a plan or GPS, I know and you know you will get there faster and possibly a lot cheaper, right? It will be a lot less stress because you know where you're going. Now, that made, makes me think why or how come more people spend more time developing a plan for their one-week vacation than planning for their life. That was my case until about six months ago. I came across this concept of creating a life plan, and I, let me tell you, it blew my mind. I created a basic plan. It, it wasn't too hard. It was three pages, but almost empty with what I can do with my strengths, my weaknesses, basically, or, you know, where I wanted to go and, and that I'm not there, and what I wanted to plan, how I plan to get there, right? Three steps, easy. So that's what I'm going to share with you today, how you can develop your own plan easily with, in three simple steps. Plus, I'm going to make it even easier for you. I'm going to give you the digital version of the three steps. But let's, uh, let's get going, right? Let me tell you right now how it starts. I got the, got the template here. So first of all, you know, what are your strengths? In my case, uh, I'm good with technology as far as designing websites, productivity, uh, automation. I, I have a lot of knowledge on the online world. Now, I, needed to, I need to learn how to write better. I wanted to spend more time with my kids. I want to be healthier. Um, and I wanted to, uh, I have some personal goals and some financial goals that I want to meet. So I wrote all, everything down. So in the first part, I'm, I wrote everything that I, is my strengths, like what I can do, what I bring to the table. And the reason is this is important. Let me tell you right now before you uh, go crazy on me. This is important because when you start seeking advice for help, you know what you can contribute in other people's life and you can help or exchange or bring to the table and uh, or you can use your strength strength to uh, overcome some of the weaknesses or where you want to be you can use that path instead of reinventing yourself uh, or spending time in an area that you don't feel that you're that strong so that's one of the reasons so step one you know your strengths step two where you want to go simple or where you want to be yeah uh, you know, you can make it three, five years, one month. It's really, it's really up to you. This is your plan. It's not my plan. Right now, mine is, is, is quite extensive in depth. I've been developing and, and modifying. Every week, I do a weekly review. Well, we're going to talk about that later. Now, on step three is how you, you're planning to, you know, get there, how you're going to achieve the things. So if it's, um, I need to learn um, how to write better, can, you know, well, I'm going to, uh, as I'm, by this date, I'm going to be on a class, so I can seek online, I can take a book camp, I can download podcasts, I'm going to study every day for an hour, I'm going to download a podcast, a video, I'm going to interview somebody, specifically what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, and by when you're going to do it. And make sure it's attainable, something that you can reach. Uh, and that's how we get there, S three steps really easy i'm going to give you the template i might add a few extra things as an added bonus most likely i will just to help you out and of course if you have any questions i'm here to help you out but again what are your strengths you're like you know most people some people add values and things like that uh I, that's what i've seen uh, where you want to be wh what you want to achieve a bachelor degree by x date uh, financial help it really doesn't matter because this is your plan and third, a specific, uh, we used to use the SMART acronym, uh, you know, but I'm going to make it really easy for you. Make sure that you know uh, I am going to interview so-and-so, I'm going to download the podcast, I'm going to take this class, it's going to be no later than this day. If it's a continuous improvement, like in my case, I wanted to be, wanted to exercise every uh, every uh, every other day, I put it there for no less than 30, uh, 30 minutes, etc., etc. Uh, spend more time with my family, quality time. How I'm going to do it, I, I block my time in the calendar. So those are the things that you can do to improve and keep going. But this is this is the beginning of 
your plan and you will be developing as you go and you know you can hold yourself accountable you have clarity because you have it in front of you you might not do it today but you pick it up uh, next weekend you are looking at oh that's what I got to do you have purpose you have clarity you will motivate yourself to keep moving forward so I highly encourage you to whatever is personal business career wise don't Leave, don't, don't let your life be on fall on a daily basis. Don't react to life. Be proactive. Create that map. You will not let an architect or a construction company build your house without a plan. You know that it's easier to get from Florida to Washington with a plan, with a, a map, with a GPS. So stop living your life without one. So I'm going to put the information below. You have any question? Leave me a comment. Contact me. I'm here to help you out. Angel Anderson here. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.